Hi, this is Dave O'Toole, and today I'll be giving a presentation on tracking health data with Emacs org mode and GNU plot. Um, <clears throat> so GNU plot is the well-known scientific and um, you know mathematical plotting application. You feed it uh, you know text files full of uh, names, dates, numbers, data points, and you get out a nice graph. And you can spit out SVG. You can spit out PNG graphics. And in this case, we're using an SVG. And what I'm going to show you today is how to take daily health journal items. In other words, things like I exercised such and such number of minutes today. I got X hours of sleep last night. I used such and such, you know, a number of pieces of nicotine gum, say five pieces. So let's see. We've got this whole picture here, all right? And I've tracked here, this is a month of data from my life. This is, I'm not showing all the variables, but these are, this is what I felt comfortable sharing, you know, in order to help people who might have uh, a need to track either because of a chronic condition or just because of a health improvement goal or what have you, people who might need to track health data in a way that's a little bit more robust than just one or two two variables and one, you know, just, just weight or just blood pressure. You know, so in this case, I've got exercise. I've got the number of hours of sleep, um, the number of doses of nicotine, and that's the yellow line here. And I'm, this is referring to nicotine gum. Okay, and what we're going to be talking about is looking at connections. The idea that plotting your data can actually help you figure out what's going on. And this is just one month. I've been doing this for a couple of months now, but I felt comfortable showing one month with a limited subset of the variables. And what I'm going to be doing in this presentation is showing you how to set up your org templates so that you can, you know, hit, hit a hotkey to capture today's data with an org template, or in this case, yesterday's. Usually I'm saying, okay, yesterday this happened, because you don't know until the day's over how many pieces of nicotine gum you ate or how many hours you slept. So usually we're recording data for the previous day. So you're, we can set up the capture template so that it fills a little org entry, one for exercise, one for sleep, one for nicotine, one for distress. Here, distress is just one to 10. How bad do you feel today? It's not a scientific measure, it's, but you know, many, many things ask you to rate on a scale of one to 10, how bad is the anxiety, how bad is the general level of stress. And so without a lot of complication, I just rate that one to 10. Pain, okay, we won't have to get into any details, but if there, if, if there is a level of chronic pain, well, I put that between one and 10. And as we can see here, during the period that I've shown you, it's pretty low, there's some. Um, if you miss a dose of medication, you can track that, in this case, with a big, ugly red triangle, you know. Um, you can see, I can see here that in mid, in late September, sorry, in early to mid-October, I stopped using the nicotine gum and probably should have cut down more gradually because my sleep suffered. Look at this, the sleep line is down here, okay. And what I'm going to do now, now that I've shown you the graph and some of the things that are, are useful about it, I'm going to actually take a step back and show you from start to finish how you can do this in GNU Emacs. And I have a little template generator that you can use if you'd like. All right. So let's go back. Let's step back from this file. We're going to split the screen. And on the left side, I'm going to put the underlying org file that generates this, this graph. Let me shrink that a little bit. All right. I'm going to work my way backwards from the template to the template generator, meaning that you'll be able to spit out, given your own specification of health variables, you'll be able to have it spit out a custom GNU plot script like this, that's preset up with the definitions for, you know, the column view in org mode. I'm assuming a little bit of familiarity with org mode and, 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 and um, GNU plotting, but I'll try to explain as much as I can as I go along. The journal here is where... Okay, okay, one moment. So as you can see, 
There's a sub entry here for each day that I've included from my data set starting on September 13th of this year and ending on October 17th. And there's a pro an org property drawer with the corresponding uh, names of each field and the value. Now, the idea here is that the columns specify, if you know a little bit about org mode, what happens is that you, let's say, that I hit the, the, the uh, key for my journal template, which mine is very similar. <clears throat> Oops. This is the capture buffer for today's date. And if you're recording yesterday's date, you can just flip it like that if you need to. And then I say, okay, yesterday, I remember I went for a, about a one mile walk. So that's probably about 20 minutes, you know. I, and that I had such and such, I had eight and a half hours of sleep for, you know, let's say. How, I'll estimate how many pieces of nicotine gum I have. I try to count as closely as I can. How much distress, you know what I mean? Whether or not I missed a dose of medication. And then when you hit Control-C, Control-C, it captures that to the end of your org file. Now, what this shows is that I pick, cut and paste it in. I've been keeping these entries every day for months and that I cut and paste it in a month of data. Now, I'm going to dig in a little bit to the GNU plot script. This here, all this stuff, is one component of the graph. And I'll go over how it works. Oops. First, the items through this column declaration here, and the and the ID, my ID. This column view table here, begin column view, this this whole bit here is going to get filled in with the corresponding columns, exercise minutes, sleep hours, nicotine doses. And then it gets pumped, pumped out by org mode into a file that looks like this. Tabs, uh, tab separated values with an ISO style date at the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the GNU plot portion of this. And I'm going to enlarge the font a little. I'm going to go line by line through the GNU plot portion. Now, my, my template generator will let you, um, will let, will give you one like this. You don't have to write this from scratch. But I'm going to go through it line, line by line because if you do use the template, uh, then uh, it'll be it'll help to have gone through it line by line because you're probably going to have to modify it. So first, we're going to clear the graphics from any previous runs so that if we reuse the same GNU plot process, we're not overwriting the old, we, that we are completely overwriting the old image. So that's the purpose of this line here. The output parameters, we want to put out an SVG file and font Arial, that's funny, but I, I don't know what font it's actually ending up choosing, but it looks fine. And then we want it to be square, so I'm giving it 900 by 900 pixels, even though it is a scalable vector graphic. And we're putting it in the same folder as the org file, example.svg. These lines here set it up to use the org mode format that we showed in the other file over here. The time format is four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. Um, the time format doesn't specify here the time, but that's a, that doesn't seem to mess it up. 
when this line set data file separator means that the separators between that and all between all the other fields are tabs, which is what org mode does when it spits out a table by default. Okay, along to the next lines, we're going to set up for time series data, meaning that the x axis is going to be time x2 ticks one format. I believe this means that every day has one tick and that the that this tells it that the first... Unfortunately, I forget the exact meaning of this one line. I'm just going to move on. We want one X tick per day, and because X is in seconds, it's 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. This line set grid X ticks gives us a vertical line on each day of the graph, and I'll pull up the graph just so that it's a little easier to see all these vertical lines, one on each day, that's given to you by set grid x ticks. One y tick every five points. So here at five pieces of nicotine, we've got a five at 10 pieces. Well, we don't have, we don't, we don't eat 10 pieces, but 10, 15, 20. Rotating the labels to make them fit a little bit better. That's this part here where the labels are sideways and you know that's already, even with just a one month of data, they're getting a little crowded, but. Okay, this set key box LC just makes the, makes the line around the, the, the key, the legend here, a little bit less severe. Set X ticks format. This makes it so that, you know, for example, I've done a United States style date here with the month and then the day. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that. You can, you can have the whatever you want. But that, that, this X text format, that relates to how the dates are printed. Remember that over here, this um, set, set time format, that relates to the, how the dates are formatted in the org mode output. So remember, those are two, I mean, you don't want to mix those up. All right, Y range, zero to 40. Um, thus far, my exercise sessions have all been less than 30 minutes and nothing's, nothing's gone over 30. Um, you know, if you have a health variable that is in a significantly different range, um, you may need to get a, a slightly more complicated canoe plot scripts because it is possible to plot multiple Y ranges in one plot. Uh, if you have a variable that uses a different range, it's just a little trickier. Next, so these these parts here, you know, aside from the fact that you'll make some, you might make some changes that relate to the date and your country format, are going to be the same. This is like boilerplate for almost anything. Now, here are the parts that are going to vary, are going to vary depending depending on what health variables you want to store. There are three main sections here. One is setting the different line types that are used. Line type one, setting line type one with line width two, line color RGB. And you know, unfortunately, GNU plot is a little bit cryptic, which is why I've made this template generator that I'll show you in a moment. I pick a color. So this is exercise forest green. Point style one, or point size one, meaning you get these little green triangles about that size. But the point type nine is the pointing up triangle. Line type two, purple, so that's the sleep line. So we're just establishing these different line types that you're given arbitrary numbers. Now on to the next section. Oh, before I move on here, you can see point type 11 for line five, which is red, and that's the missed medications line. So you get a, a triangle that's upside down because that's point shape 11. All right, the next section here is the goal lines. There are horizontal dashed lines here, here at eight purple, eight purple hours of sleep is because eight hours is the goal. So there's a horizontal line at, at y equals eight. For pieces of nicotine gum, I'm trying to keep it to five, around five right now. So my goal line is at five. So these 
uh, here, a goal of at least 20 minutes of exercise. You know, sometimes I get more, sometimes I get less. There's a green line and a 20 showing that that's the goal. So these lines here are actually the goal lines, and you'll, you can specify the goal for each one in the template generator that I'll show you. Okay, the last part is the actual plot command. So the, so the dependent, so okay, these all start with one, using one against this variable, so two. The, this is a ternary operator here that says if the value of the second column is zero, then don't plot a point. In other words, not a number means it won't plot a point. The template generator lets you skip over the details of that. It, it sticks this in there. I'll show you. So we only want to plot a point when it's when the value is non-zero. If there was no exercise, we're not plotting a point. The with construct means you know we're plot data using using date against exercise with points. The title is exercise in minutes. Line type one. And remember, we established line type one up here as being forest green, point style one, point type nine, green triangles. Now I'm going to show one against column three, which is hours of sleep. This one is plotted with lines, so we don't specify a point type or point size, just a line type two. And remember, you can see that line type two is defined as purple with point type one, point size one. Okay, so I did specify point size and point type, but because I'm not plotting with points, those are ignored. Okay, and here we come to the line with nicotine. The fourth column is the nicotine number, the fourth column from the org mode file. So here you can see how we're telling GNU plot to take each column of the tab separated org mode file and put it into the graph. The line types are set up here. The goal lines are set up here. And then the actual plot command is set up here. So now we're going to work further backwards from this GNU, or, uh, from this GNU plot template to the template generator that I used to make it. Okay, now it's, I'm not going to go into all of the details of the code, but what I am going to show you is that there's a variable called health factors and that it lets you, what this does, this health factors from list lets you specify with a property list of keyword and value pairs. Here's the keyword name and the value is exercise, the goal, that I want 20 minutes of exercise, that the unit is minutes, that the color is forest green, and so on. The, the aspects of the GNU plot setup have been abstracted here. <clears throat> Eight hours of sleep is the goal here. The hours are units, what color, what thickness of the line, so here we specify the number of points, and there are, there's, there's references online that show you what point types are what shapes in GNU plot, and so on and so forth. So I'll walk through the code a little bit that does this, that actually takes these um, pieces, the, that, that takes this specification of what your variables are, and turns it into a piece of, uh, and turns it into a, uh, a template. First, I'm using EIEIO, the object system of that's included with GNU Emacs. It's uh, a reasonable facsimile of the Common Lisp object system. And um, what I'm going to be doing here is defining a class 
with each of those items, those properties that we talked about in that list that lets you specify, name, what the goal is, what the units are, and the GNU plot things, the GNU plot uh, parameters like thickness, plot type, and all that, um, into a class that will then spit out the template once you, um, once you feed it some of these health factor objects. So, just a moment. So, for example, you can see that, the, that this template originally came from um, being generated by this code here. So, to use the template, to use this, this little template generator, see here's, um, where it spits out the line type given the pieces. This is all just text formatting. This is one of the things that Emacs Lisp just really excels at. I need to take, you know, a piece of data like, a list of a list of health information, a list of health variables, and what what their units are, and how they're supposed to be formatted in GNU plot, and go from that to to the nice template. So that's pretty much the whole thing. So um, I want to see if there's anything I missed. Bring up the chart. This uh, has been really useful for communicating with uh, healthcare professionals because they, you are both on the same page about exactly what is happening, what's been happening, you know, because uh, if, if, let's say that you're tired when you talk to your care provider, well, if you have objective information that you've been recording every day, that you're 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 ahead of the game really because you don't need necessarily the presence of mind to be able to give your care provider a complete picture of what's going on in your world if you can find those few minutes a day to enter not even a few minutes really just a minute to enter the data and say what did what happened yesterday you're i'm finding over these months that i've been more in touch with my health when i can when i am for not forced but when I am, I have the habit, the consistent habit every single day of recording that data, I'm accountable to myself. It's, it's interesting. And I guess it, it gets into a little bit of ideas about the quantified self and uh, how, you know, how holding yourself accountable can change what you do and what the outcomes are. So. You know, I mean, if just look at this here, I mean, you know, without getting into too much detail, one of the reasons I track my sleep is because it, as you can see, my sleep is not as well regulated as most people and that that's why I need to, I need to do that. And I feel, um, so here, this was a time 10, 12, here's 14 hours of sleep. That's depression. And then, you know, it, it oscillates a little bit, but then below the goal line, well, the things are a little more normal here. This is a little more normal. But then, really without thinking about it too much, I, I cut out the nicotine and my sleep suffered. So just the fact that I'm able to look and see that connection is really amazing to me. I mean, maybe I would have anyway, but looking at the whole months of data, I, there have been many things to discuss and many things to think about. And, you know, um, but because this is a short presentation, I, I probably should wrap up. And um, I just want to thank the whole Emacs community for, for being there and for uh, including me in the conference. And uh, I, I hope to participate next year as well. Thank you so much.